Hello. In this video, we would like to do a few examples about local approximation. So first exercise that we're going to do asks us to find local linear approximation for the function sine of x at x sub 0 equal to 0. In the second part of the exercise, we have to approximate sine of 2 degrees using our approximation that we found in step 1. So let's start with step number 1. So we have to find uh, approximation of function f of x. And uh, that's approximately f of x sub 0 plus f prime at x sub 0 times x minus x sub 0 for x close to x sub 0. So that's the formula that we're going to use. Our x sub 0 is 1. Our f of x is sine. And we need to find a couple of things. f of x sub 0. So we need to find f of 0, which is sine of 0, which is equal to 0. Then we need to find derivative of the function and plug in x sub 0 into the derivative. So we have derivative of sine, which is cosine of x. So f prime evaluated as x sub 0 is cosine at, and for x sub 0, we can actually put 0. So it's going to be cosine of 0, which is 1. So now we're ready to find the approximation. We say that f of x approximately f of uh, 0, which is 0, plus 1 times x uh, minus 0. So if we calculate everything, we're going to get 1 times x, which is x. So what does it mean for us? It means that f of x is approximately x if x is close to 0 close to zero. So we accomplish step number one. We're going to step number two, where we have to approximate sine of two degrees. And we know that sine of two degrees is approximately equal to uh, uh, one sec, one sec, because this function doesn't work for degrees, as we agreed before. The only thing that we can plug in is radian. So we have to take 2 degrees and convert it into radians. To convert degrees into radians, we have to multiply by pi and divide by 180 degrees. So this way, we're going to get pi over 90. All right? And the rule says if you have sine of x, it's approximately x for x close to zero. So let's try to see if this number is close to zero. So we have to take a calculator and we have to we have to take pi and divide by nine. So we get a number which is uh, which is equal to and we plug it in into our spread, uh, in, into our notebook. So we get number which is 300, uh, which is pretty, pretty, pretty close to zero. Pretty close to zero. So if the number is close to zero, then sine of pi over 90 is approximately equal to the answer, which is this, right? Because sine of x is x if x is close to 0. The only thing left to do is to find sine of 2 degrees. So we have to take a calculator. And for this calculator, uh, we need to switch the mode to the uh, to the uh, right, right. So we need 
need to find sine of two degrees. And indeed, we get the same result. So sine of two degrees by calculator. is uh, this answer over here. All right, and it's, uh, as you can see, that's exactly the same answer. Just coincidence in this case, but it's perfectly fine. All right. So we've done with this exercise, we're moving to the second exercise of this uh, video. In this exercise, we would like to approximate x cubed at x sub zero equal to one, and then evaluate 1.02 cubed. So let's accomplish step number one. For step number one, our f of x is x cubed, our x sub zero is one, and f of x sub zero, which is f of one, is one cubed, which is one. Then we need to find the derivative of the function, and our function is x cubed, so we have three x squared, and then we need to evaluate derivative at one, so it's three times one squared, which is three. So now we can say that f of x is approximately f of x sub zero plus f prime at x sub zero times x minus x sub zero. So we plug everything in over here. f of x sub zero is one plus f prime at x sub zero is three. And then in parentheses we have x minus one. And if we distribute this three through the expression, we're gonna get three x minus three. Then we're gonna add up one and negative three. So our answer is three x minus two. So we can say that f of x is approximately three x minus two for x close to one. So for the second part of the exercise, we have to calculate 1.02 cubed. So the question that we ask is 1.02 close to one? Yeah, it's just 200 away from one, so the answer is yes. So that means it should be relatively close, should be relatively close. So basically, let's try to do this out and see what we're going to get. Uh, we say that 1.02 cubed is approximately three times, and this is our x, so three times 1.02, so we're using this function, minus two. And this we can do actually in our head because three times one is three, three times 0.02 is 06 minus two, so we get 1.6. So we think that 1.02 quantity cubed is approximately 1.06. Finally, we need to take a calculator and take 1.02 and cube it in our calculator. So we have to erase these things and take uh, 1.02 and cube it. So we get uh, this answer and we plug it in to compare. So using a calculator, we establish that it's 1.0612 very, very, very close to 1.06 that we have gotten by doing it in our head. And I think this concludes our lecture. Maybe one little thing that we can also do is to take a maxima and try to plot uh, x cubed function 
together with uh, 3x minus uh, minus 2 on the same axis close to 1. So let's say from 0 to maybe from 0 0.5 to 1.5. Oh, didn't type it correctly here, so it should say times. It should say times. All right, so if you look at the picture, you can clearly see if a 1.02 away, we're going to be very, very, very close to the to the blue line. So if you look at this picture more carefully, you see green line, uh, red line, line and blue curve. They're pretty much the same around one. All right, so I'll see you in the next lecture where we're going to talk about differentials.